Oh my goodness, it is finally time for us to make our tier list for Anime Royale. As you guys know, I've been playing the game a lot. I have a lot of experience and I have 99% of the units in the game. Now I haven't used all 99% of the units, but I've seen the news and I know how they work to some degree. I went ahead and shortened the list a little bit. I got rid of some of the ethics, I got rid of some of the rares, and we're gonna choose all of these units here. We're gonna rank them from best to worst here on this tier list. So guys, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you're new. Let's get this video to like 400 likes or something. Comment down below what you think about Anime Royale. I've been playing it a lot, and as you guys have seen, I've been getting very, very strong in the game. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get right into this tier list. So. First off, categories must own, very useful support, good and okay. Um, must own will be like, there. There's you have to have this unit, okay? Anyways, uh, Crocodile here is gonna fall under the support category. This guy slows um, later on in his upgrades. He is an epic, so he's very easy to get. Um, the only thing about him is that his damage is very low, but he has a huge AoE um, attack. And he slows, so he's gonna go in the support category because he slows. Free Ren, there's there's no debate in the game whatsoever. There isn't a better unit in the game than this Free Ren. Um, she becomes Hydrid. She does over a hundred thousand damage on level one when she's fully upgraded. She does get a little bit expensive for those last couple upgrades, but if you bring double farm or if you just farm efficiently, you'll be able to fully max her out just fine. She's, she's just crazy. They just introduced her on release. A lot of people have gotten her. They've actually made secrets somewhat easy to obtain, which I'm very shocked with and very happy to see because as you guys seen already, free rent is absurd and you must own free ran now rifts are very hard to do so you're gonna need some friends to do them with but if you do get your friends or if you do get a ton of people and you beat them eventually you'll be able to get yourself a free ran now the other unit that starts with free is frieza here and frieza is so darn good he was literally one of the first units that i went ahead and grinded for uh for this evo it was either him or okura I went for Frieza and my goodness, he is so important to have because hill units are one of a kind in this game. There's a lot of flying enemies and unless you have him or you got the free run obviously off rip, you're gonna be struggling quite a little bit. Now Frieza does need to evolve and he's very difficult to evolve in those raids. You're gonna need some strong people to carry in the raids if you don't have mythical units with somewhat decent traits. So I'm just letting you guys know Frieza isn't a free unit that you guys can get that's super strong. You have to put in the time, the effort like I did the other day and you'll be able to get him. Goku Black, I am going to put on the very useful category. He is just a legendary, but if you don't have Frieza Evoed or if you don't have a Frieza and your only hill unit is Goku Black, that is fine. Goku Black will do a ton of damage for you. He is multi-hit as well early on, so he's a very good unit to have. Atachi. I'm gonna put Atachi on the must own category. Now, Itachi is Hill Hydrid, which means you're gonna place him on hills and you'll be able to hit airs, right? The reason why he is must own is because he's probably the strongest, easiest, weak uh, hill unit you guys can obtain that isn't Frieza or isn't, uh, what's his face? Uh, Okura or Free Rent. Itachi will carry you through the story modes and maybe even into some of those raid modes. He is that good, his burn is great, he does a good amount of damage, so very much needed to have Itachi. Now, Jotaro, although he does a good amount of damage, he is a support unit. He stuns and he slows, and he has a decent amount of damage. I think he is a three placement as well, so you don't wanna get like a unique monarch on him because of the fact that you want him for his slows and his stuns, but Jotaro is a great unit to have. like almost in the must own category, though we're gonna put him in the support because that is his main job. His main job is to support. Kakyoin, honestly, he, if you don't get 
like Itachi, for example, if you don't get Goku Black, then you're going to get Kakuin. And that's where he's going to fall right there in the category. Then the same thing with like uh, Piccolo, or Piccolo, what am I talking about? Vegeta. Vegeta is like a good hill unit. He's does a good amount of damage. You want to get him. Kakuin, same thing. Piccolo, I would almost say he's better than Kakuin, but Kakuin is multi-hit from what I remember. Piccolo, I think, does become single hit, so definitely Kakuin over Piccolo, but then, of course, Goku Black and then Itachi. Those are your air units that you're going to want to get, not just for fun. You're going to need them if you're going to try to beat the game. Um, anyways, kind of getting like GOAT, I got Unique on this unit, aka Monarch on this Kaneki, and he has been so good and has carried me through so much stuff. Probably the only reason why I got my Frieza and my old Kiora's evo so fast is because of this Kaneki unit. I'm going to put Kaneki at the very top of very useful. You don't necessarily need Kaneki to progress through the game, okay? I'm just saying that right now. Next, L, but the but Kaneki is still very good. Like I would put him up here if I wasn't trying to condense the the must own characters. Like you have to own him. There's only like six mythicals, but um yeah, he's a top very useful unit. Uh, L is a support money unit. Um, definitely better than these guys because money is the most important thing. If you guys don't have the money, you can't upgrade your units, and if you can't upgrade your units, you're stuck. Same thing goes with Nami. Nami is the easier version of L to obtain. She doesn't do damage, she just gives you a little bit less gold, but you can place her on wave one. So, I don't know, they're both very good, especially if you're gonna do the raids, you bring both of them along with you to maximize your money, and then near the end of the wave, you start upgrading everything, and you'll realize, wow, our team's great, we're doing it. But uh, yeah, you definitely need L, you definitely need Nami, um, and yeah. Madara is one of those units that belongs in the must own category due to the fact that he becomes hybrid relatively quickly slash cheaply. Um, like I said, if you don't have Itachi, if you don't have Goku Black, Madara is going to do the job for you. He does burn as well, and he has an upgrade where he's multi-hit, so he's, he's really strong. If, if I didn't have Madara early on, um, if I didn't have Goku Black, if I didn't have Itachi, I definitely would have been struggling without him. So Madara is the one unit I would even tell people to go for first. I would go for Madara first for your first mythical unit. He's just that good of a unit. Um, Kaneki, yeah, he's really good, but Madara definitely would be my first pick. And then my second pick would probably be Kaneki. All right, moving on to the next unit. We got Nihawk. He's a good unit. Um, I would definitely put him above these two not the greatest and uh, yeah we'll leave him there same thing with natsu he's a good unit um not necessary though especially if you got itachi itachi just beats natsu just because of the fact that he hits airs um natsu also burns good amount of damage for ground units but not a hundred percent necessary um we'll go to zenitsu next zenitsu is very useful i'm gonna actually have to put zenitsu down here under the support category because zenitsu does stun off rip when you place the unit down, so you're gonna need Zenitsu for your runs, your story modes, and your raids. He's just really, really good. I would almost put him in the must own category, but we'll put him in the support category with the rest of the units. We got three units left. Sasuke is a very good unit. We'll put him in the very useful category though, because Sasuke does have a good amount of damage output. So I, I just I just think he's better than these two, but it, that's just personal preference for me right now. Next is Shanks. Shanks is the number one quote unquote infinite run unit other than free run now. He is a really, really, really good mythical to have. He's just not must own if you're just starting the game. He does stun when he gets his fully OE upgrade, but he's so expensive to get to that point that it kind of makes him not worth it. So Shanks is a very useful unit to have, just not must own. And then finally, Probably the second strongest unit in the game. This old cure is absurd. I have Phoenix on him. He does like 50,000 or 25,000 damage every 3.7 seconds or something like that with like 82 range. Yes, you heard that right. 82 range. Old cure is just absurd. You can inter you could swap it out and say, well, Frieza hits airs off rip so he's better than Okiora but then you can say well Okiora is better range I don't care how you put it I'm gonna go ahead and leave it like 
this, just because of the fact that at the end of the day, Ulkior, I think, is out damaging Frieza due to his range and everything, but two absolutely amazing units. And that's it. These are the units you want to have if you're playing the game. Obviously, we're still on update one. We're just on release, so much more to come here in the future. If you guys did like this, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, turn notifications on, and I will see you guys later. Reese Adesis, bye!